Welcome to another Silver Critiques. I still don't, we don't have a name for this. Uh, today, uh, our poor soul is Venus. <laughs> it's okay. Uh, the brave soldier, the brave soul is Venus. Um, specifically, birth of Venus. Uh, she says. She requested a uh, art review, and she says, Hey John, I'm working on this character for D&D, but I'm not so sure about her design. I wanted her to look busy, colorful, and clunky, but I'm not sure I'm pulling it off. What would you recommend for a better design, or what are some things I could exaggerate or simplify? Color plan for her is below. Oh, so this is the one you're actually working on right now. Let's pause the music there. <laughs> Silver Crash. Um, hi, Eric. How you doing? Um, it says line art profiles back with a tattoo, front and phallic, her name and name. Oh, okay. The the text on the side. Um, okay, so my first... I'll, I'll point... Th there's a lot of good things going on, actually. Uh, I do... I do have critique for you. Um, some things you, I feel like you've done better in the sketch than the, than here. Uh, but what you're doing good is that, uh, the main, um, design. So if we strip away all of the detail, the main design is quite simple, which is a good thing. You want to, simplicity equal, oftentimes uh, equals readability and you really really want that in any design as often as possible um, pattern detail and things like like that don't really obstruct the uh, shapes you got going on here I don't know how I'm gonna zoom in at a okay there's a bit <laughs> all right I'll zoom in like that um, so there is something that you have really good going on uh the hair is uh, the hair shapes are clear we can see that uh she has uh looks like she has a, sort of like a top underneath and we have the the long is this considered even a coat uh, she, she definitely has a shirt underneath and stuff and and this sort of robe thing um and then you have some more from her waist falling down on the side. So that is really, really good. Um, one thing that I feel like um, you did a bit better here is that you, when you add detail, even though it is small, uh, like scribbles or small like shapes, you still want to focus on just like design, you want to focus on primary um, primary details, secondary, tertiary, or however you say that word. Um, and I feel like you've done that better. For example, you can tell that at the top here, the the golden like patterns that you'd have here, that's a primary detail. Uh, the uh, here on the shoulders and and on the wrist, that's another a primary detail. Um, I don't know if that's exactly how people call it. I'm calling it that, or it makes sense in my brain to call it that. Um, on the falling cloth here on the side. Uh, oh, actually, this is part of. Oh no, this is this is actually part of the the same uh, thing here. Uh, so this side here, we can still tell it is detail, but we see the primary one. I would do that on the redrawn one where you have big bigger detail shapes and then it gets smaller and smaller and less intrusive um another thing is that the smaller the detail is the less contrast it should be in the line art um usually i tackle that by just making line art thinner because the thinner it looks the softer it will look especially in digital uh, but I see a bunch of areas where you could benefit from that. Also, I do think you are using a bit too small or the same sh the same size 
uh, shapes. I'll give you a few examples. Um, a few examples of many. One thing you want to do is, for example, the size of her um, disc on her forehead is pretty much the same as I'm. I'm guessing this is like a magnifying glass because it's translucent. They share the same size. These two, like the the the. Um, North, south, east, west. So the compass is nearly the same size. The bottles here, pretty much the same. You're seeing, you're probably noticing that now that I'm pointing it out. Uh, pointing, pointing it out. Uh, the flowers are generally the same size. So what you want to do is vary that to a higher degree. Have have a bigger, um, have a bigger uh, difference in sizes for each uh, and also how okay for example how would I decide which one would would be bigger you know like oh yeah John you're so smart that which one should be bigger you scream at me so I would say that whatever is important the most important for the character is what should be taking more space it's as simple as that and in design um, I, I personally I, I strongly believe that um, in design, whatever is the most important should occupy the most space and should have the most detail and uh, most contrast, etc., etc. Because it's it's the most important. It should be the more more highlighted than everything else, right? Um, so that's how I judge. I personally judge design, or in a very simple way, I judge design. Of course, there's always exceptions to the rule, etc. But, um, like, for example, if a ring is really important to a character, you're not going to make it the size of, like, a football, right? Although, I guess you can, but I, I wouldn't do that. Um, I would just find other ways to make sure that that is a highlight. Uh, anyways... Um, that is, that, that's actually my main, uh, you are a very good artist, you, you've gotten a lot better since last time I saw your stuff, um, there are, there, there, there's some things that everyone always needs to improve, you know, like, there's a, um, your, your gesture could be definitely better, like, a weird, I will point out one really weird thing, and once you see it, you'll probably will feel like you want to redraw it, but the body like it's twisting in a really weird way so for example this happens often it happens even to me and I, I i usually fix it but the hips are pointing to the right the torso is pointing to the left now i understand what you're trying to do you're doing like a, a, a counterbalance thing in the pose i get it like uh you know like the tilt of um Actually, that's something you could have done is a different tilt of sh the, the shoulders to the hips. Um, but like, I, I get it. You're twisting her. However, it makes no sense why she would be twisted like that. The only reason, the only way I, I could see her, like, look at my body. Look at my body, chat. Where, where's my, where's my channel? All right. Look at me. Like, for me to reach to that same degree... I have to like look look at what happens. First, my torso shifts, and my tits shift as well. Then, if, if I want to go further out, my shoulders, the top part of my torso and shoulders, twist, and then my arms. To the kind of degree that she is, uh, turning around, she would actually be kind of like it, it, it's. As if she would be reaching for something like to her pocket, her back pocket, except she's reading a book like this. When you really think about it, um, it, it makes no, not much sense, right? Uh, she looks pretty relaxed, like everything else, like her features, her arm pose, etc. And also the storytelling in, in, in her post, she's reading a book. Uh, I don't see why she should be straining herself so much. But again, I don't think you, it's something you noticed. Um, and, uh, there's an Indian for it, but it is, it's like a cult. She's an arcane detective. Those are scrolls. Those are scrolls. Oh, they are reading like flowers. 
Uh, so I I'd say that it's a pretty much that's pretty much a critique in itself. Um, the scrolls are looking like flowers, and the reason why is because uh, every it's the way it's bunched together, and we don't see any of the body parts. We only see the, the we only see the tip. Um, I'm here for a moment. Did you have a chance to do pin over? Hi, more Kenny. Um, no, we actually are saving your pin over for when there's more people because it's the first pin over since we opened the the tier two. You know, the tier twos can get pin overs. So I'm just waiting for, uh, I'd say like in two hours or so, we, we'll do it. But anyways, continue with the critique. Um, yeah, so her her generally her pose is is uh, uh, you know a bit a bit off in that regard, and it makes not much sense considering what she's doing. If she was reaching out for her bow, maybe this would make a lot more sense. Anything that she would be reaching out behind her would make a lot more sense. Um, and uh, I really uh, I'm looking at the character uh, colors and I, I'm seeing where you're going I really like the color uh, the colors that you're going for there is one issue I think I'm not a fan of the shoe color um, you okay so you need to consider one thing and the same goes for color and the contrast oh, and the value of the color Reserve the most saturated, the most contrasty colors, always, always, um, to the top part of a character. Of course, bottom. I love adding like cool designs and cool colors and and contrasty elements to the lower part and even feet of the character. I feel like it completes. But what I'm saying is that you have this really stark magenta. Either add more to the top of her like more magenta so that it it completes and it feels balanced like top middle bottom and then it feels like a set or i would remove i wouldn't do the 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 shoes uh, magenta or purple um and i would i would keep the the one in the center but add some more like to the to her top so either way i would definitely uh I would definitely swap it around. I'd say it's probably easier to add on the top and make it feel like it's a set. But again, I I highly recommend always adding the biggest contrast of colors uh, and the value of each color flat um, or each flat color rather to mostly the torso area or head because that is the most important uh, part of the character. I mean, look at what you're drawing. You drew one, two, three, four. Um, how did you get in? Did I not close the door? No. Huh? Oh, okay. Uh, because you know that the Shazlong is not... It, it's full of stuff. I don't have to digest. That's why I closed it. Okay, never mind. It's fine. Nali is a ninja. <laughs> uh, as I was saying, the um, the top part of the character is absolutely the most important thing. Uh, and you've even done four studies of it. But you've done... I mean, you can tell by your, uh, with yourself that that is the case just based on the stuff that you worked on. Right? Um, I mean, that pretty much concludes the... Uh, That pretty much concludes the the critique for for you. Um, I mean, I hope it helped. And uh, once again, <laughs> once again, thank you for um, requesting an art critique. Don't forget tier ones. Um, that you can request an art and portfolio critiques. Tier two subs, it's rather new, but they can request paint overs. And yeah, pretty much. See you on the next one. Bye-bye.